Now you're ready to paint. A brush stroke is very intentional. There's not a better word for it. You pay attention to what the brush is doing. If you need to push down harder on the brush to make the brush stroke fatter, then do it. Just give it a full try over and over again on this little blue bonnet. And as you get to the larger petals on the blue bonnet, then you'll push down harder. Now I've combined a couple of different painting, different times that I painted the blue bonnet in this video so that you could really, really see that this is what you do. This is one of many brush strokes, but if you don't learn this one, it's not time to go on. Pay attention to what you're doing. I'm leaving the top ones without paint because they're going to be green. And if you've already painted it with blue, that's okay. You can let it dry and then put a little bit of yellow on top of it and it's going to turn green. But each one of these is a little brush stroke. Just watch carefully what I'm doing because every brush stroke I make in a painting is done very intentional. Now the color is not supposed to be solid. I mean right now it's wet. It needs to dry before you know what it's going to look like. You want to be sure to keep your hand out of the paint. If you don't, you'll smudge it and it'll get on the side of your hand and it'll get on the watercolor paper, which I can teach you how to remove that too, but it's better just to be careful and not have. You see how I'm turning the painting over to do the top so that I don't have my hand in the top of the painting. These are all tips that 40 years of painting I have learned are the things that students don't know. I've watched so many students just listen to me for a minute and start painting and think that they're going to be able to have it look like mine or look like what I'm teaching it. And um, they don't. I mean, it, it just, you don't learn unless you really pay attention. And you need to pay attention to what your brush stroke looks like also. Everybody's blue bonnet looks different no matter what. So don't worry about the fact that I'm trying to have you learn how to paint like I do. Because once you learn how to paint like I'm teaching you, then you'll have all kinds of creative ideas on your own. Your paintings won't look like mine because you'll have ideas on what you want to do. Cleaning your brush well between colors. I even stop and clean my palette often. Now, you need to make sure that it's all dry. This, I'm just letting it dry right now during this time. And that's all depends on how wet your brush was when you painted. So if you're painting too wet, wipe your brush off and then put it into the wet paint rather than a wet brush into the paint. Now we're going to do the darker lines around the breath, around the petals. And these are like little parentheses looking at each other. It's best if you'll just watch this video all the way through before you get started. I mean, that is the way you need, you can learn the best from me. I think, I mean, for me, when I make assumptions, I know how much I miss. 
because I really kind of turn off my listening skills. But this is very relaxing if you really learn how because then you can do it without being just intense on what you're trying to do. You just, your shoulders relax, just relax your shoulders right now so that you're not tense in doing this. Creativity comes from a real free flow of movement and it goes all the way from your brain to your fingertips. And when you're dealing with color and water, you have a lot of opportunity to be creative. But learning the basics is real important at this stage. And you're not seeing me clean the brush every time, but I wanted to keep the video up close on the painting itself. And by now, I hope you've, you've learned how to clean the brush. So now this brush stroke is just the very tip, just a little dot. And you do want the blue to be dry because it'll grab it and, and run with it if, if you have a wet red mark against a blue wet mark. I'm cleaning the brush and now I'm cleaning the palette. I get my little mister and, and spray the palette and then wipe it clean. Okay, we're coming to a close to this one and the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do the black lines on it and that should be the last, um, I think maybe I have a real short video at the end. So now you get to watch me clean my palette. But I think keeping things clean is important to keep from making mud. This little blue bonnet is just as clean as it can be and I like for it to stay that way.